All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another War Game Red Dragon replay cast. And today it is another three vs three Reddit tournament cast. And both of these armies are red four, but one of them is going to be the blue team and the red team. And it is Team CCD versus Team ANZ. And very, very high replays, as you can see. Captains, Major Generals, Lieutenant Colonels. All of them very, very good players. On the left side, our blue team is the ANZ team. We have Nandamoni, ANZ Faust, and ANZ Cheerup. And on the right side, we have our red team... The CCD team, we have George S. Patton, Fadeway, and Hunter. And we're going to go ahead and speed this on up. And I do have a link in the description below where you can upload your own replays. And if you put my name in the replay, I will upload, or I will uh, cast one of your replays. Or you can check out all the replays that are people um, are uploading these 3 vs. 3 replays from the 3 vs. 3 tournament. And soon... All the units will begin, slow it back down, and see what happens during this game, this very, very high uh, replay game. And we can see all of the um, players have chosen their spots as to where they are going. And we will check it all out. Lots of troops moving out to the left side here. We have a Buratino in the back. And it looks like Fadeaway moving towards uh, the left side here. We have George S. Patton moving to the center with lots of troops to hold out uh, in this town here on the other side of Echo. Very hard to take Echo, as you can pretty much just put a CV on this side and have a CV on this side. It's very, very hard to get over the bridges. And on the right side, a little, little bit lagging behind SU-122s and lots of armor moving over to the right side as it's a little bit more open uh, than the other side's. And for our Blue 4 team, we have some troops, a mixed military, moving over to the right side to hold the towns and hold Juliet. Juliet and Hotel here pretty open in between. Have to hold uh, with troops all the way across from each other there. Already setting up an Echo here with some Gorno Strelke. And we have a BRDM Recon. Not too much going in the center here for Echo as it's really hard to get over the bridge, so you really don't need to put too much uh, on the other side of Echo there. Just really need to worry about uh, nothing getting over that bridge for the most part. And on the right side here, T-80 uh, UMs moving across a couple of those. A Buratino also moving uh, on this side as well. CV already in Alpha. CV in Charlie. Plus four advantage right off the bat for the Team ANZ, our blue team. And we'll see when this battle begins. Looks like it's going to begin uh, over here on the right side. SU-122 engaging a Type 63. Gorna Strokey firing and just barely missed that recon vehicle. Spetsnaz Gruz and uh, Gorna Strokey inside the town here. Neither side really engaging yet. They're pretty much on the opposite side there. MI-24V firing away at the BTR-90s trying to move across. Don't think it will last too long. There it goes, MiGs uh, battling out with each other and both of them evacing. So both of these sides are indeed uh, Red Fort teams. Uh, looks uh, like they are mostly Russian for the most part. And MiG-27 moving across. And takes out some troops there. And SU-27 takes out a jet just as it flies over. So lots of air battles going on over there on the right side. Over on the left side here, both sides trying to get into the wood lines, trying to make it across uh, this empty territory here. Very hard to take Delta as it's just so empty. Just pretty much a long-range battle going to occur over there in Bravo here. Spetsnaz Gru have taken over uh, this side. Uh, looks like the Blue Four team managed to get to Bravo first by dropping off lots of troops there. Biertino all the way in the back. Looks like it's ready to fire, and there it goes. And we'll see what it's actually going to hit. Looks like not much there. And looks like the Biertino is used nine of those rockets. Didn't really take out too much there. SU-27 and MiG-25 going at it now. Both of them evacing. Neither side really took either one out, and the Tunguska takes out the blue uh, jet there. The MP3 just firing away from across the way here. Firing at the Modus Drelke, trying to make it to the town line, but even if they do make it over there, a couple of VDV 
going to stop them in their track. Some VDV here for uh, Patton on the opposite side of Echo, although uh, he does have Echo pretty well secured on the other side of the bridge here. They did bring a CV uh, for the blue team over here on the other side of Echo, so that belongs to the blue four team. Didn't really bother bringing his own CV there to at least neutralize that. And it looks like our blue team has quite the advantage so far in the game. Plus three advantage. Our red four team really hasn't taken all that much. Juliet here still wide open and up for the taking. Buratino moving up to the edge of the wood line here. And SU24 cruising down the far side of the map. Looking for some trouble. SU27 also looking for some trouble on the left side of the map here. Doing some circles, having a good time. Uh, MiG-25 cruising across the map as well. Just so much air power this game. And lots of air power lost already as well. And on the right side, an attack has been called by Patton. Knowing that there's some stuff uh, in this forest line here. We have some Iglas and the Spetsnaz Gru Recon. The MI-8 up there as well. Very, very low on cluster rockets. Really just uh, down to the 50 cal there. And Buratino ready to fire again. We'll see it to work. Decides to fire this time. Going to fire into the wood line. And get a blast. He's uh, Spetsnaz all up. But uh, not going to do too much damage there. So another sort of miss from that Buratino. And Pecotas and Gonostrelki holding off the edge here of the town. Moving over the uh, bridges there is going to result in pretty much failure unless you bring over an overwhelming force. But even still, you're just looking to get bombed if you go over those bridges there. So that's going to be hard to take Echo. At the very least, you can neutralize Echo. Now, Bravo has been neutralized. It looks like that Buratino had actually took out uh, the CV that was in that wood line and now sort of uh, backing up out of there, all the fire forcing to move away. And back in Juliet, still hasn't taken Juliet. No CV is on the way. I don't really see any CVs on the way. And here's a CV now, and it looks like it may actually be going all the way to Juliet, but it's going to take quite a while to get over there. And Spetsnaz grew BTR-90 inside the forest line here. To try and hold back. Also, we have some troops in this town line to hold. And troops here as well. So very hard to move through uh, this open territory. You're going to have to really make your way through the wood line, through the town line. Either that or, again, just overwhelming force to push through there. But that's just asking for trouble, pushing things out in the open like that. All the air power in this game is out to get you. Gronostrelki firing. And it takes out that BTR there. And some Spetsnaz have been dropped off. Some non-recon Spetsnaz. And back in Bravo. Spetsnaz pushing all the way to the wood line here with all the smoke and fire going on. Hard to move in uh, infantry through here to actually spot these Spetsnaz to stop them on their way through. They can just pretty much walk through open ground all the way through there. And it looks like that T-72 was fired out by that MiG. I believe that's what it was. And... Um, only four bars of health left on that T-72B. And Tunguska backing up a little bit too, away from those Gru. And we only have Geogakte in here at the end. T-90S moving back as well. The Spetsnaz Gru do have those uh, RPG-26, 20 AP power. So a good few shots could take out a T uh, T-90. And now we have T-80UMs moving across the open territory. A very bold push. And probably trying to get him into this wood line here. Or just keeping him back would work too for now. However, we have a MiG-27 on the way now. And yeah, it looks like it's uh, targeting these uh, T-80s. And one is taken out by that MiG-27. We'll see if this MiG-27 can actually get out of here alive. And it looks like that is the case. He'll get out just fine. And other MiG-27s rolling around the area here. It's just bringing all kinds of air power to deal with all this. And now an Mi-24D firing away. Choosing to fire at the T-72s by the looks of it. But it takes, uh, gets taken up there by the Tunguska. 
And the Gru in the Geogakte going at it. Only five Gru left, but only five Geogakte as well. So perhaps um, the Gru will win out on this fight, perhaps. It's going to be a close one. You know, the Geogakte is going to lose out pretty quick there. Oop, no, that's pretty close. And Motostrolki trying to move into the wood line here. But going to have to watch out for this MI-8. And it's just going to be peppering up this BMP. T80 UM K29 also moving in that area and over here pretty much a deadlocked area This is usually the case with Delta as you just really can't get past uh, much Even if you move all the way up the wood line here You still have all this open area to move across and here as well moving across the open area Really there's a couple thin wood lines, but it's very easy to be caught in those thin wood lines And now back on the right side, Juliet has been taken by the Red 14, but still leaving the uh, blue team uh, with a plus four advantage. So the uh, CCD team losing pretty quickly here. It's best nice inside the line. Unable to move forward, doesn't really have enough power to move forward here. Doesn't have a lot of uh, armor either really to uh, soak up any damage as he moves forward. Echo now has been neutralized. By Patton there, put the UAZ in the back, but we have the UAZ in the back on the other side as well. Gornostrelki and Motostrelki going at it, and it uh, looks like the only fight Motostrelki will ever win in their lives is today with the help of that VDV. SU-24 launching some cluster rockets here, going to land all over that BTR, but the BTR survives it. The CV untouched there. So going to continue to neutralize Delta, bringing down their opponents to a plus two advantage. And still need to capture Bravo to at least uh, neutralize this uh, team. And then they can work on actually taking uh, Echo away or at least uh, finish off that CV back there. It is a T-72 CV, so it's going to be uh, easier said than done. Quite armored. And Gorn Stroke in the back, that MI-8 there as well. And only 11 armor on that T-72, but more armor than uh, the typical UAZ or something like that with uh, zero armor. Motostrokey moving forward at the BTR and VDV. Not going to win that, uh, but maybe stall them out for a little bit. T-72 fire on it as well. Another T-72 CV moving forward. And going to try and neutralize Bravo real quick here with that T-72. And as soon as he stops, he will neutralize Bravo, which I put it at a 0-0 zero, zero for now. So we'll see what our Blue 4, Blue Team rather, uh, can do about it. As both of these teams are technically Red 4 armies, but uh, I like to call it Blue 4 and Red 4 sometimes. Kind of get caught up doing that. MiG-27 flying around. And looks like trying to take out some things uh, in that wood line there. I'm not sure if they exactly see that T-72 or not. Burachino firing away here on the wood line. And looks like trying to take out the CV that was placed in there. He pretty much knows that the CV is here. Uh, but the Burachino really not going to be able to do it. And as it fires HE rounds, which typically you know don't do too much to uh, armored vehicles. T-90S, T-72, and T-72A all up along through here. So quite a bit of armor uh, set up all the way through here. And then we have the MI-8 here. Takes out those uh, troops on the way to the town. Gorna Stroke, you're gonna back up out of the town here, get on the edge and launch some stay close missiles uh, at the T-72. Figured it was gonna attack this one, but nope, gonna fire at this one instead. And here comes another Viracino. And while all these troops are pretty much screwed here, the T-72 is going to be okay. Just still going to hold down pretty fine here. And Burettino, for all its struggles, can't do anything to the T-72 K-1. And MiG-27's rolling in here. And MiG-25 try to take him out, but fails to do so. And we have the OSA trying to fire as well. Doesn't look like it will take anything out. Nope, that MiG will get away, and this MiG is another story. Gonna lose that one, though. He backed a little too late, and now the Gornostrelki in this town, and Spetsnaz Gru are going to be next. The Motostrelki moving on into the town, and should be able to take that and get some good vision once they get on this side uh, to attack the T-72BU on the other side there. Meanwhile, on the left side, 
still pretty much a stalemate over here. Nothing much to going on. Uh, neither side really moving up. We have an MI-24D all the way over here to watch in case anything tries to move up along through here, but I doubt that's going to happen anyway. And going to the trail key. In the edge of the town line, anything moving up through here, is this going to get all peppered up here by those Seiklos? As you can see, just launching one at a time and decided to back him out towards the uh, towards the further into the town there to hide him a little bit. 17 BDV are now moving into the town and there really isn't too much to defend this. And 17 uh, VDV will definitely take out the Gordon Strokey, particularly with that T-80 firing on them as well. Here comes a big 27, takes out that T-80 there. And we'll see if we can, that can evac out of there. A couple tours three don't two tours there and unable to do so it's gonna explode onto the ground there in the road and now it looks like the blue team will take uh this town line Gordon's drunk not gonna be enough to hold this and really nothing uh it's gonna stop them from doing that uh, we have the specialized back here that could move forward but uh, really not gonna do all that much against this incoming force here so it looks like juliet will be taken over f uh shortly here Echo still neutralized. Bravo still neutralized. Still hasn't done any damage to that T-72. And attack has been called here in the wood line. Gornostrelki, uh, Spetsnaz, uh, and there's also an Igla here. Just one Igla missile left. Uh, so it shouldn't be enough to really take out a jet. I suppose if you could get the luckiest shot ever, but I, I still doubt that it could. So not too much of a threat there, so a good bombing right here would take out quite a few troops and leave that T-72K one a little bit more uh, vulnerable and try to push up some troops here, some Motostrelki and such. Attack has been called here as well uh, by the blue team. And looks like that MI was finished off there that was floating around. And has been pushed up into the line here. And now this uh, CV troops are in trouble. The Spetsnaz were going to move right at them, but decided to move back. There's a little fire right there. But if they would have just moved around that, moved around the other side, they could have got to that, but that would have left them vulnerable. Instead, cluster bombs land all over that CV, neutralizing Juliet. Giving back that plus two advantage for the blue team. Giratino devastating the wood line once again. And I'm surprised there are even any trees left in that forest as it's been Buratinoed about five times so far this game. T-80 moving up. We have a T-72B1 there as well. And it looks like the blue team was the winner. The ANZ team, CCD team, losing this game and uh, losing it pretty bad, actually, which was really surprising. Both sides are pretty much equal in terms of their ranks and such. Uh, either that or pretty close, you could say. Uh, both sides, uh, very, very high ranks. And and there goes my cell phone. And, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this replay. It was another 3 versus 3 from the Reddit tournament. And, again, I have a link in the description below of the video where you can download this particular replay and you can upload your own replays. So go check that out sometime and hope you guys enjoyed the replay and I will see you guys next time.